Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevin here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Friday. And today I want to go over how to demote a server on Active Directory on your server manager. Obviously, if you're new and you know what to do, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So today we're going to go over how to demote a server. I always install Active Directory, set up Active Directory. Today we're actually going to reverse it and demote it. And I'll show you how that works. All right. So let me share my screen and go over that. It should be a quick video, but it should be an interesting video. All right. So here is my... Uh, Domain controller, uh, actually my server manager dashboard, sorry. And then here is my servers. Apparently there's one server right here. Um, and I have to go in here and remove my server. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manage. I'm gonna go to remove roles and features. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna uncheck active directory, remove features. And it's gonna give you this warning that it says, oh, you, you have to go and demote it first. So I'm gonna demote it first, right? Can you give that a second? And I'm gonna I'm going to force the removal of this domain controller because there's because I tried this earlier and it's giving me a hard time. So I'm just gonna force remove it. Proceed with removal and next. Yes. And I'm gonna put my pass. So whatever your password is for this, you gotta put it in there. So um if you have if you want to do it through PowerShell, you can. The script is right here. So like I could literally close out of this just to show you guys. It actually gave me PowerShell script. So if I do PowerShell, right, and I right click on this, I have to run as administrator. And if I just call Control V and I put in my password, it should be able to remove it or demote it, right? Let's do that in a second. So it says now this has been completed because. You know, when you instead of Active Directory, it forces you to restart. Now that I demoted it, it's forcing me to reboot. So just give it a few seconds. It should it should do its thing and reboot. So you got to have a little bit of patience with this thing. Um, It should come back up in a couple of minutes. It's just trying to restart because I just removed that service or that domain controller. So just give it, I demoted the server. So just give it a second. And we're just going to wait here a little bit. I like to, I like to keep it. Like the way it is now, I like to keep it on because I like to show you like realistically how long it takes to demote a server. You saw that it didn't take that long. I ran in PowerShell. Okay, we're good to go. So now we're gonna log in again, right? So now it's a different login screen. It's just, there's no domain controller anymore. At this point, you're just logging in with the, the local account, whatever account is available on the computer when you first create it or install Active Directory. So I'm trying to log in right now. So just give that a second. And then what we can do is just for just for cleaning purposes, right? So I imagine should come up, give it a second. I just want to see if it's available, if it's there um, under uh, sites and services. So they say like the proper way to do it is to go to site and services and actually delete it from here. Um, and, and it's not, it's probably not going to work because we just removed it. Yeah. See, information can allow this, but I just forced uninstalled it. So that's good. This is gone. Yeah. It's not there anymore. Right, that's, that makes sense. All right. So let's try removing that rolling feature again. So we're going to hit next. We're going to hit next. And we're going to select Active Directory, Domain Controllers, Remove Features. And let's see if we get that prompt, that weird prompt again. We shouldn't get that weird prompt. It should just try to remove it after this. Yes, it does. Yes. Next. Awesome. Next and remove. So now it's the, doing the removal process of the domain controller, catset.com. Um, so now if this is removed properly or this is I, me, the way I do things, I don't know. This is you guys. It's just, just my opinion. Like if you're going to install or do a feature or do an update, do something on the computer. Um, if it's something crazy, important, like a patch or whatever, I usually like to reboot because Sometimes it fixes a bunch of problems. Like, see, it's telling me to re restart again, right? Pending reboot. So I'm going to reboot it again. So with, with me, it's like, I always recommend restarting. Like, if you're going to uh, just restart right there. Yeah. If you're going to do a hatch, an update, um, if you're going to do something crazy on that computer that you're working on, it, 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 it's a server right now, right? Obviously, I'm not going to restart this when it's in production, obviously, right? But for for practice, right? 
I I always recommend you reboot, right? You reboot. Um, as best practice, just try to reboot a machine if you're doing updates and patches and stuff like that. Those things are very important because sometimes if you don't reboot, it it, it kind of you have like folders lingering in the background. You have a bunch of weird things going on, you know. And I don't want that. I don't want you guys having that weird issue, you know. So hopefully that makes sense. So now it's completely gone. It's pretty easy, straightforward. You see, I didn't kill myself. I didn't have any weird issues. Nothing strange happened. So pretty self-explanatory. Um, if I want, and it's probably not, it's probably gonna. But if I wanted to, see the name is still there, right? If I wanted to, just give us a second. I'm still thinking about. Yeah, if I if I wanted to, I could I could go back here and and, and remove it again, right? And, and, and I mean, I remove it. I set up Active Directory again, but I'm not gonna do that. It's just you know, it's just for fun. This is the computer name. Computer name is there. There's all the information that was there. Yeah, and it's just it's not complicated. Like people think it's complicated the modic server. I literally did it in a, in a couple minutes, right? I didn't take that long. You saw how long it took. I didn't take that long. So that is the easiest way to do it. Um, so like if you, if you have a server, um, you could do that. I would love, I would love to do more server stuff. I would like to make a server, like a, a whole server tutorial for you guys. Let me know if you want me to do that. Cause I have a book on server 2022. So if you want me to make a whole video, like an hour and a half video on server 22, all the different things you could do, make a whole video on that. Let me know. And I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are going to watch it, but I could definitely cover server 2022 backup, recovery, and all this good stuff, all right? Just let me know. All right, I'm going to stop sharing. All right, hopefully this helps you out. So that's how you demote a server. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a great Friday. And if you're going to B-Size Buffalo, I see you mañana, all right? Later, guys. Bye.